cousins, greetings, and welcome to a special holiday edition of Two Lies and a Leaf. Our players today are Grammy-winning pop star Megan Trainer versus her husband, actor Daryl Sabara. At the end of this epic battle, the player who knows the most about their family history will be crowned champion and win an ancestry gift for the family member of their choosing. The winner will also take home our spectacular Golden Leaf Trophy. I'm Jackie, and I'm so excited to be hosting you all for the holidays. Let's play Two Lies and a Leaf. Welcome to the warm and cozy treehouse, Megan and Daryl. Hi, thanks Thank for you. having us. Yeah. Let's deck the halls with all the love, wild careers, and traditions of your ancestors that you'll one day get to share with your son, Riley. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, he is so cute. Okay, Megan and Daryl, favorite holiday memory, go. Every year, my family, we always have somebody dress up as Santa. And someone and they... dress up as the elves. Right. I was and... an elf for a couple years. Yes. I got to upgrade to Santa last yes. year. Yes, and they a have big a honor. big job where they have to hand out all the presents to everyone. Nice, you finally got the promotion. Let's get to playing. Up first is a fun fact about both of your great grandmas. Megan, your great, great grandmother, Charlotte Squires, Wow. Daryl, your four times great grandmother, Mary Debus, both were lucky to have found love twice in their lifetimes. What did their betrothed do for a living? A, a shoemaker and a cattle trader. B, a tailor and a blacksmith. C, a hat maker and a butcher. Butcher. <laughs> You're saying C? So I'm gonna say A. The correct answer is A. No! A shoemaker no! and a cattle trader. Oh, we're in the lead. Daryl, yeah. as an actor, what would it be like to put yourself in the shoes of your shoemaker ancestors, huh? Daryl, next to you is a memory box what? with a pair of right old timey shoes. Wait, what? <laughs> no, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, those front buckles? Wow. <laughs> I like them. You look like you're about to sign the Constitution. So Megan, your ancestor, Charlotte Squires, found love a second time with cattle trader John Fuller. They Fuller. married on Christmas Day, oh. 1884. Megan, you yourself are a Christmas baby. Yeah. We got engaged on her Christmas birthday. We got married, married on her on Christmas birthday. birthday. We're trying to make it really easy for me. So our <laughs> anniversary. There's and a lot her of birthday dates. is yeah. the same day. Speaking of Christmas, Megan, what song from your Christmas album, A Very Trainer Christmas, holds the most meaning to you and your family? Definitely my kind of present. And baby, I got you. The chorus I wrote for my son, Riley, because he was the best Christmas present that year. And uh, my husband's in the music video, too, because you are my kind of present, sir. Baby, I got you. Round two. Now that we're all warmed up like a Yuletide fire, I'm gonna challenge you with one question each about your family history. Megan, this is a portrait of your great-grandmother, Ruby Ingham Fuller. She's so cute. Ruby was given a middle name passed down through your family. Was it A, Immian, B, Tabitha, or C, Day? A, Immian. <laughs> okay, well that was quick. I got a grandma named Immian. The correct answer is A, Immian. Yeah! <laughs> Your great grandmother Ruby married cattle dealer John Robert Fuller in 1915. My dad's gonna love this. Ruby and John named their daughter, your grandmother Immian, after Ruby's middle name, like you just said. Wow. Aside from passing down names, what holiday traditions do you hope to pass down to your son? When we have matching pajamas, which we've recently started doing. Yes. So that's gonna be forever our new tradition with our baby. I already got him his onesie, it's so cute. Daryl, you're yes. up next. Okay. Your grandparents, Nicholas Sabara and Gerda Kreft, came to America as refugees. What was the name of the ship they arrived to America on? Was it A, the USS Miriam, B, the USS J, 
General S. D. Sturgis, or C, the USS General Dwight K. Schrute? Yeah! <laughs> you will never get this. I'm gonna go with B. Well, the correct answer is B, the USS General S.D. Sturgis. I love multiple choice questions. You're the worst. The Sabara family is from Zapot, Poland. Polish. I'm Polish. I'm Polish. I think You're I'm Polish. Polish. You're both Polish. Yes, I'm Polish. Polish. Daryl, your family traveled to America on warships turned transport ships. What do you think your grandparents would say if they could see you and your family now? Good job, kid. Good job, kid. <laughs> the competition has gone from cozy to heated, with hot. Megan at one point and Daryl with two points. Grab the card and the marker from the table beside you. You'll see the question and space for you to write two lies for you to stump your opponent. Your third yes. great-grandfather, Frank Krebs, cool. was a carpenter. Nice. But his career took a twist. Oh no. Any idea what he pivoted to? A postman. Okay. An undertaker. Or a dancer. I like, I want it to be a dancer. <laughs> no, I picked dancer. That's wrong! Oh, what? <laughs> it was be an undertaker. I freaking won. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, here's a newspaper notice from back in the day that shows the furniture store your grandpa purchased wow. before he went from coffee tables to coffins. Alton Burger Bros. Sounds delicious. If you're paying attention to your ancestors, you'll get this. You promise? Yes. I want to win so bad. Your grandmother, Imian Puller, worked as a bank teller for many years and had a great aunt with what money-related name? Money Penny? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wealthy Day? Silver lining. <laughs> I'm gonna guess B. Because <laughs> that's the right answer. <laughs> it has been a tight game thus far with a score of two to two. Okay? Let's make now, it interesting. Lucky for us, this final round is bum, 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 the tiebreaker. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Now grab your game card, because for this round, you'll both write down the answer you think is true. Megan's great-great-grandfather, Edward Trainer, was reported to have kept an unusual animal as a pet. What was it? No idea. Was it A, a baby eagle, B, a lion, or C, an ostrich? What was that? That was scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay, got it. I'm gonna be so mad if you win this. One, two, three. There's a C right there. I don't know if you can see it. A I scribbled C? here, yeah. I said A. The correct answer is C. Ostrich! Yeah! <laughs> Megan, have a look in your memory box to see a special photo. <gasps> What is it? Wow, it's our <gasps> Christmas gift to my dad. Oh my God. We have to go get this framed right now. Yeah, we do. Here you can see your great-great-grandfather on a visit to California standing behind one of these beloved birds. Wow. I'm so upset that I didn't pick Austin. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to crown our winner. Here oh it comes. My oh my God, it's that's an ostrich. cool, that's so cool. Daryl, take your trophy. Megan, take your baby ostrich. Wow. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, it's heavy. Daryl, any idea who you're gonna give the gift of ancestry to? Megan's Uncle Burton. That's who I was gonna give it to, too. <gasps> so we won. This has been Two Lies and a Leap. Thanks for coming along this holly jolly journey of learning your trainer Sabara family legacy. Now the only thing left to make my ornaments jingle is a song. Baby, I got you. Thanks for watching. Ancestry is the gift that can bring families near and far closer together this holiday season. Shop now with the link below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next Two Lies and a Leaf.